Okay, alpha, beta, roots of quadratics. It's not about solving the quadratics, it's about doing the algebra with the roots. And there's the problem. You can have a quick look at that. Solve it yourself, perhaps, before you watch the video. Right, so let's get going. Let me shrink that down a bit, just to give myself a little bit of room and get started. Now, when we do these problems, there are some important results that we need to consider and important results. I'm going to write these down. I'll be referring back to these all the time. Not a bad idea to do this also when you do these questions. We have got quadratics x squared plus bx plus c and the results that I see a lot in these. Well, I'm always going to be dealing with the idea that we've got roots alpha beta, the product of those roots. If this is equal to zero then product of the roots will be c over a, whatever they happen to be. The sum of the roots will be minus b over a. And in fact I'm going to add another one here because I'm going to use it a lot in this question but actually many of these questions use this a lot. We have the idea that alpha squared plus beta squared equals alpha plus beta and this is completing the square to get this root, alpha plus beta squared, which would give me the alpha squared plus beta squared, but it would also give me a 2 alpha beta I don't want, so I subtract it, and I get that as an identity as well, an important one that I use a lot. Um, let me just tally this up with what I've got here. In this question, I have got the equation 2x squared plus 7x plus 4, equal to zero, which means that sum of the roots, 4 divided 2, product of oh, sum, what am I talking about? Going backwards, product of the roots, 4 divided by 2, sum of the roots, get that right, is minus 7 over 2, and sum of the squares, which I will use a lot in this question, Alpha plus beta squared, which is 49 over 4, minus 2 times the product, minus 4, and I believe 49 over 4 minus 4, 16 over 4 is 33 over 4. Okay, those are results that I think I'm going to be using quite a lot. Let me get into the question now. Part A. Well, actually, Part A is nothing but a little bit of multiplication. Um, I'm going to do this by using a multiplication grid, which seems maybe strange, but a very neat way, generally, of not making mistakes when you multiply now brackets. Beta squared. And if I multiply all those things out, alpha cubed minus alpha. And what I should be able to see straight away here is that I've got an alpha cubed, alpha squared beta squared minus alpha squared beta squared gone, alpha beta squared minus alpha beta squared gone, and plus beta cubed there. And that's my first result. Um, I'm going to leave you to sort out the second one yourself. You probably don't need me to do that. You can just use a similar sort of method. And let's get started on the main part of this problem. Part B. What have we got? We need alpha minus beta squared. If I multiply that out, I will get an alpha squared. I will get a beta squared. And I get a minus 2 alpha beta, a double bracket. I think most of this I already know. Down here, alpha squared plus b squared, 33 over 4. Alpha beta I know, minus 4. And so this one is going to give me, what is this, 33 over 4 minus 16 over 4. And that will give me 17 over 
four. First part. C, I think using one of my identities from the top. I've got most of what I need here. Alpha plus beta, that's going to be no problem. And in that bracket up here, I've got an alpha squared, a beta squared, which I already know. Minus alpha beta. Let me slot everything in there. Particularly nice looking fraction there, but it's good enough and it is the answer, which is the all important thing. D, hence. Hence, so let's have a look. Alpha cubed minus beta cubed. Back to this one. I got alpha minus beta. And there, I think, is my hence, because I've got alpha minus beta squared sitting up there. And I've got an alpha squared once again, plus beta squared, an old favourite cropping up in there. And a plus alpha beta, which is easy enough. Alpha minus beta. Now, here's alpha minus beta squared, so I'm going to square root that. Now, positive or negative square root? Well... You'll notice here, alpha is greater than beta, which means that alpha minus beta must be positive. So I'll take the positive square root there, and this will be multiplied by 33 over 4. As we're saying, this, this is getting used rather a lot, this thing down here. 33 over 4, and plus 2. Let me sort this out. Square root of 17. Square root of 4 I can do, and I'm going to. And this thing here, 33 over 4 plus 2, 33 plus 8 over 4, 41 over 4, I believe. And my final answer for that is 41 over 8 multiplied by root 17. Done. Okay. And finally, form a quadratic. Well, I can form the quadratic as long as I know what the sum of the roots and what the product of the roots are. Let me shrink that down a bit to give myself a bit of room. And for this final bit, then, for part E, the quadratic I want. What? We've got two roots, alpha squared over beta. And we've got beta squared over alpha. That's the quadratic I want, but of course I'm asked for integer coefficients, and I've got it in factorised form, so I'm going to multiply this out. I have x squared. And the x is going to be minus alpha squared beta times x squared over beta and a minus beta squared over alpha times x and the product of the roots that we see on the end minus times minus is plus and alpha squared beta squared over alpha beta nice bit of cancelling there it's going to be okay equals zero one of the end here is no trouble I'm just looking at that coefficient of x and I'm going to have to do a little bit of work with that one yet. Let me make that into a single fraction and that will be alpha cubed plus beta cubed if I use a common denominator of alpha beta plus cancel here to give me alpha beta and I think I can go ahead now and start putting my 
numbers in. So alpha cubed plus beta cubed I know from here. Minus times minus is going to give me a plus 175 divided by 8 for alpha cubed plus beta cubed, but I've also got the alpha beta, which is 2. So divided by 8 and then divided by 2, divided by 16. That's my x, and the alpha beta I know is 2. And so finally, what I'm going to say, multiply everything by 16, so I've got integer coefficients, 16x squared plus 175x plus 32 equals 0. That is my final quadratic equation, and that's done.